Good evening everyone, this is Junior Safe Review. We will just show you how we can manipulate the internal wiring design for the indoor separate unit because as we have explained in the previous video by the universal kit. But today we will show you just how you can manipulate the design because as you know, the company when they are manufacturing a product, you cannot just uh, fix it really easy. You have to do a couple of manipulating to just make it uh, to repair it and make it work again and with the same efficiency let's see what we have here first of all we have to start with the internal fan with it what i have done over here i have just separated and rewired the speeds into here the high the mid the low speed i have put it with the with these sockets why the original one was just like this and this one wouldn't wouldn't work, wouldn't try in the new design. Okay, what else? The S goes in the condenser. Then the the, the, uh, the neutral in here. This will get that feed from the universal kit. Okay, so what we have? What do we have else? We have the sensors. Sensor number one. Sensor number one. This is the air. Sensor number two, this is the pipes. And what else? We have the step motor into here, which is responsible about the sewing activity. What else? The displaying screen into here. Most important note, when you're trying to plug in all the sockets, it starts with the further one, with the closest one, to the bottom of the uh, locator box. Then after that, go, you go with them one by one we will see how we can do it so apparently we can see that we have to start with a sewing motor in here where is it it's here let's put it right over here this is how we can plug it sorry mm -hmm. there it is what else Into the displaying screen into here, going to be the next, just like this. What else can I start with these? Yes, I can, but let's start with the sensors since they are really should be taken care of sensor number one sensor number two what else I have the transformer out that will feed the uh, controlling board and transformer in that will get direct 220 from the from the control kit where are they at here they are let's see the red wire Okay, this is going to be the last one. The one before the last one is going to be the blue. We're going to put it here. Sweet. Then we'll put the red one in the socket. See, it looks like a it looks like a big socket and a small socket, so there is no way for making any kind of mistakes. What do we have else? Let's see. It looks like a messed up over here, but uh, later on I'll show you how you can just organize it. So you will you will see you'll see this in a minute. Okay, we have seen that this cable for the minimum speed. We gotta put it here. The mid speed going to be next to it. the highest speed going to be on the highest speed okay what else see I have here a reversal valve and I have here I have here the reversal valve and uh, here the fan out the outside fan not the side fan this is the inside fan this is the outside fan okay what I have to do with it I will just uh, run out and another wires so I can just uh, run it to this board and then after that I can run it out all the way to the outside package let's see how what do I mean here 
plates. Uh, let's just classify the red, the red color to the fan. Just put it here. Then after that, let's put the uh, black, the black color for the compressor. And you're gonna put it here, exactly. Where we're gonna put it? Let's see. Don't rush. Everything is gonna be fine. Okay. This is the neutral of the internal fan. Have okay, to take it from here. And then after that, slide it down all the way down, all the way down. And of course, this is, this is going to be so easy and sweet. See, let's put it. See these two slides in here? Both of them are for neutral. So I already put the internal fan in it. Okay, what else? Let's take the fan, the outside fan and the compressor away. Just a bit. And then after that, let's organize those. Those wires into here. Where should I put them? I have to put them into into here. Just a second. Let's just take it like this. Then make it. into this way okay just don't be rushed and remember just uh, don't be really rough with them do not treat the wires roughly because you'll just make it disconnect in really hard bands and places that you'll never get they just will make your job harder what else you got to put C as the original code, the company code. Then we're going to put, we're going to use the uh, valve code as a fan. Why? Because we will never use it anymore. We'll never use it anymore. Okay. Now, what do we have here now? I have everything organized in a place and this is so sweet right now I already finished I already finished everything everything organized everything in a place everything ready to work what else I need I need to man I need to operate the live feeding that comes from the outlet. Okay, how we can do it? Let's do it. Before we are put plug it in, we have to plug in the fed for the control kit. Like this line. Let's use this brown as a line. Put it here as a line. Then the blue as neutral. Then put it here as a neutral into this this last pin. Okay. Okay. Firm, steady, and be patient when you are doing your job. Okay. What else? Design or live, whatever. Okay. Then after that, the main grounding. Okay.
Okay. It's it's good now. Everything here is up. Everything here is tight. Let's just start. In a second, we will start it. Okay. And let's put the displaying right in front of me. I'm done. I'm connecting all the wires. So let's put it like this. I want to repeat safety first. Make such a qualified person doing it. If not, do not mess up with the electricity. Let's see. This is happened because I already I already left it switched on. Let's switch it off. Okay, everything is switched off now. Let's see what is happening when I'm switching it on. If I switched it on, it will work. That's a trick. Let's see what's gonna happen with that. Stepper motor does it work. The what about the stepper mo motor does it work? What about the speeds and the internal fan? Does it work as well? Let's see. This is the whole thing. Okay, and this is the motor. Is that enough going to Let's see the fan. This is the maximum speed. Now it's slowing down. This is the last. This is the Okay. What about sewing? As we can see in here, there is sewing sign and it's working. See? If I want just to stop it, to stop now. See? What if I want just to turn it off? Turn it off. Put turn it off. Now it will close. It will be closed. That's it. Thank you very much. Just don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and I'm ready to discuss any, to speak with you about your thoughts, any problems when you are facing with it, such a thing. Thank you. Have a good day.